All right, guys. Um, quick little video I uh, wanted to show. Uh, I don't know. A lot of people probably know this already, but um, we've got a new uh, stick and buttons on the market: the Hori Hayabusa and the uh, Hori Kuro, Kuro Kuro buttons. Kuro, um, and uh, they're just all black for the moment, and uh, they're pretty nice. Stick is um, very much like a uh, JLF, but uh, highly customizable. Uh, right now, I've got a uh, two-pound spring, uh, the focus attack cells for the JLF uh, as a modification, and a silent, uh, the silent uh, Omron micro switches. So that's kind of interesting. Um, to kind of tap dodging that way. Uh, but one thing that I really hate um, are these buttons. Uh, they suck. They're not good. Um, they look a lot like Samwa's. Um, you know, they're they're convex, but kind of just slightly. Uh, they look very cool. Um, but um, uh, I don't know if you can hear this. This is the worst. Wait, hold on. Do you hear that? I, I can do it with pretty much all of these. Oh, that's, that's my dog. <laughs> he doesn't like them either. He thinks this is a terrible noise. You hear that scritching? Holy shit, that's awful. Uh, here are Samwa OBSF uh, RGs, 30 RGs. See, pressing this at all sides. These are snap-ins. They're not screw-ins. Same for these. 30 RGs. And again, the Kuros. Ugh. Terrible sound. Alright. Check these out. Uh, these are uh, Sumitsu's screw-ins. Ooh. Not gonna lie, those are nice. Uh, normal uh, OBS, uh, OBSF Samoa uh, push buttons. Not the RGs. Snap-ins. Pretty nice. Uh, Kuros just suck. Uh, anyways, give you a quick look at the bottom end. See, it's got a nice chunky plastic housing like an LS30, uh, LS32, and a Sumitsu, but the insides are all Samwa, or at least they were. Uh, they felt very, very close to a JLF. Um, but like I said, I've done um, the two pound spring and um, and the silent micro switches, which are pretty fun, um, pretty interesting to play with. And just, uh, it's not going to focus very well. There you go, got the Hori logo, five pin harness, which I believe is identical to the JLF. Um, yeah, I like the stick. I like the stick a lot. It's a little, really easy to customize. Um, I took, uh, when you take this off, um, you'll see all four micro switches. You can see those on kind of different videos on the internet. Uh, really nice thing is here's the PCB, just this little rectangle set off in the corner all by itself. Um, and each button excuse me, each micro switch uh, gets its own set of wires so no daisy chaining the ground wires um, and each push button gets its own um, I mean each uh, uh, you know action side of the micro switch gets its own wire so um, 
you know, on the Samitsu, you know, they're all kind of uh, um, socketed in a larger PCB that goes around here. Um, and I forget what the JLF is, but it's, I think it's similar to that. Uh, anyway, so that makes it really easy to swap out micro switches like I did. Um, you just need a soldering iron and uh, super simple. And another thing with these Kuros is that, um, whoops, I hit the button by accident, is that if you push down like this, they pop out super easily, like too easily. Um, anyways, so anyways, uh, that happens with all buttons, but uh, it's really easy to do here. So it's just kind of another nitpick. But um, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty quick video. Just wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, the, the Hayabusa and the Kuros. Um, I think the stick is cool, the buttons suck. So, that's my quick video. Um, and the reason why they suck is that scritching noise, which I don't know if you could hear or not, but it's fucking terrible. Uh, anyways, enough bad language and uh, pontification for me. I'll see you all later. Bye.